the frozen realm of Boreas, the Federation mobilizes the deep space vanguard across the frigid, cavern-strewn landscape, initiating the installation of ARC scanners. Once our courageous troopers finish, the bugs will be nothing but memories buried in the icy depths. Starship Troopers, the cult sci-fi flick of the 90s, has left an enduring mark on pop culture since its release. It was a technical marvel at the time, it featured great performances from a largely unknown cast, and it was chock full of director Paul Verhoeven's trademark subtle and not so subtle stabs at capitalism, imperialism, and democracy in general. On the surface, it seemed like nothing more than a B-grade sci-fi action flick, but dig a little deeper and it is so much more. There have been quite a few attempts to capture the magic of the film in video game form, yet none have quite nailed it. But with Starship Troopers Extermination, they are closer than they have ever been. Resto 1, mobile headquarters location is established. Stand by for the ARC, ETA, one minute. Loaded up with the payload, Vulture 1 on the way. Clear the drop zone. This is a game that is really trying to capture the big bug battle moments of the movie. A goal it very nearly achieves. In fact, it gets so close that I can almost recommend this to Starship Troopers fans unreservedly. There are, however, a few buts that jump up that may lead to a potential buyer just holding off. Firstly, this is a multiplayer PvE game at its heart. There is a single player component, but frankly, this is little more than a tutorial and offers little that would keep players engaged. The only real thing the single player has going for it is that your commanding officer is none other than Rico himself, once again played by Casper Van Dien. Apart from that, players can happily skip this part of the game. It offers little, and the game may have actually been better off without it. The real meat and potatoes of the game are the massive multiplayer missions that feature mission objectives, base building, and more bugs than you can shake a nuke at. Each mission starts with players picking one of five teams and a class. There are all the traditional FPS archetypes here, so you know what you're getting right off the bat. Each mission starts with everyone on the map scrambling to get a base built and resources rolling, before the first big wave of bugs rolls in. Once the base is built, there are a range of different objectives to complete. Things like destroying old facilities, nuking a bug hive, or taking out specific high-powered bugs. One thing is for sure though, this is a team game, and there is no room for lone wolves here. If you are tackling these objectives without the support of others, you'll be overwhelmed quicker than you can say, would you like to know more? range of bugs and things to kill bugs with. All the alien types from the movie make an appearance along with a host of others that mix up how you take them on. The aliens all have weak points that can make taking them down much quicker, though in the heat of combat it is often hard to do anything besides prey and spray. On the weapon sides of things, there are featured guns from the movie and they all make an appearance. Each of them is upgradable and customizable as they level up. Speaking of customizations, there is the traditional FPS leveling mechanic that allows players to earn customizations for their avatar by earning experience in the game. Frankly, it's much nicer to see this than the now dreaded season pass. There is also a meta involved that bears no small resemblance to what is happening in Helldivers 2. There are community goals, and as each goal is achieved, a new piece of story unlocks. For me, these story unlocks were a nice bonus, but hardly essential viewing, 
so it will be interesting to see how things progress as time goes by. At the moment, there is quite a healthy community, so reaching these goals seems to be a bit of a given. But it will be interesting to see if that holds up as the player count drops with time. Where things get let down a little is on the tech side. There are some definite rough edges here. Edges that despite a long early access period still need smoothing out. The netcode can be a bit rough at times and the frame rate can be unstable, dropping even on a high end system. There is a lot going on and as a result warping and lag do occur. This can be the difference between life and death so it is frustrating when you end up a corpse because of it. I wonder if this has anything to do with the persistent bodies of bugs that lay everywhere. And while it is impressive to see piles and piles of dead bugs and be able to climb on top of them, I can't help but wonder if this is the cause of all the tech wobble. What the game gets so very right, however, is the chaos represented in the movie. Those big battle scenes where thousands of bugs are swarming over a base are recreated here perfectly. This white knuckle adrenaline inducing stuff is in my mind worth any tech hiccups I may have come across. I absolutely adored scraping through wave after wave of bugs, using mounted guns, building barriers and setting off explosives only to evacuate on a rescue ship by the skin of my teeth. It is a fantastic recreation of what impressed so many people when Starship Troopers hit cinemas all those years ago. What it all boils down to is that despite its rough edges, tech issues and underwhelming single player campaign, fans of the movie should get plenty of joy out of Starship Troopers Extinction. At the moment it is a great experience marred by some slight issues, but if the game is supported well, I can see this becoming a cult hit much like the movie it's based on. If you are looking to experience the feeling of Starship Troopers, or you're looking for something similar to Helldivers 2, Extinction could be just the thing for you. And remember, service guarantees citizenship. So what are you waiting for? The Roughnecks need you. Special thanks go out to the publisher of Starship Troopers Extinction for providing code so we could review the game. Make sure you head over to player2.net.au and check out all the news, reviews, previews and other reviews that we have up on the site. And you can read the written version of this review right there. Make sure you like and subscribe the video, ring the bell, do all those things, they help us greatly. And if you like this video, maybe check the one out in the top left of your screen. Thank you for joining us on Player 2, and we'll catch you next time. Goodbye.